Hello everybody, welcome back to the building of the mini Playboy. I've moved on a little bit from using the jig and taking this off from, from that said jig. Uh, I was very, very pleased once I'd worked out how to get the best out of it, that I've ended up with a square fuselage, which is what it's all about. Uh, since doing that, it didn't take long, but I've added these spruce stringers as shown on the plan. I couldn't get the exact dimensions uh, that were shown, but I think these are near enough. Um, and they've added enormously to the already quite strong structure. The quite neat device for adding the engine onto the front is shown here. Um, there's a lot of versatility in that. It'll allow access by taking this off to the inside of what is going to be a, a tight installation for the radio gear. But it also means that by duplicating this, I could try multiple different um, setups. Not that I really want to go there, but it could be interchangeable to take this off and use an electric setup by simply having the, the, end, the motor mounted onto the front. Or just a different... Um, different setup altogether regarding the uh, which engine to use so I'm pleased with that that's gone together nicely and what I'm starting to do now is to actually produce the pylon that sits on the top of the fuselage this will be notched and it's a sandwich so that you have a plywood inner three mil that side three mil that side and two layers of this and then that's set in there and supported with some um, spruce struts again. And it's the pylon shape that's always appealed to me and the characteristics of them flying uh, straight up vertical was the norm in free flight. I don't think this will particularly be that way. Uh, I don't think the engine's going to have enough uh, oomph in it to do that. But I just like the look of them. And it's pure vintage when you look at this uh, this design. So that's the bit I'm busy with at the moment. I'll crack on with that and then we'll get back once this um, I start sheeting the sides, which um, will add greatly to the strength of the fuselage itself. Now, although the plan doesn't call for it, I intend on actually putting the filler pieces either side with the grain going the opposite way. And the reason for that is basically um, it adds enormously to the strength if you do that. So the intention is I'll draw around this and add those pieces there, but that will be glued in opposite direction to the main profile sides and that will add very, very much to the strength of the overall thing. So I've already marked part of this out. So let's cut it out. It doesn't have to be exact because it will all be getting sanded together and going cross green. It's always a little bit more awkward. So I'll cut these out. And then when I've cut those out, I'll sandwich the whole thing together, glue it with some wood glue. I'll not use super glue for this. And I'll weight it down and leave it for a a good few hours and resist going back to it too quickly uh, and once that's done I'll sand it all to shape it has a platform that goes on the top to actually support the wings and as I mentioned this is notched to match up with the fuselage cross pieces and then it's supported either side by spruce supports. And then this whole area at the front is actually sheeted. So that's cut out there. I'll cut a piece for there. And then the whole lot will be weighed down. The other, sh the other piece goes on there, obviously. Weighed down like that and when it's all done i'll give it a good sand get the dremel disc out get some nice curves in there that obviously matches the profile of the under camber on the wing and then we'll set up and i'll show you how i go about setting that up into the fuselage it's important that it's square of course so i'll crack on with this now 
So there we go, the pylon's now been glued and shaped. And as you can see, the notches have been cut out so that when you place it on the top, it fits in. So needs pushing down rather difficult one-handed. And there we go. So that needs to be glued in place. The spruce supports either side and then the whole front section sheeted. But there you go. That's the big bulk of the fuselage now complete. This is the platform now completed. I think you can see nicely the under camber which matches the aerofoil. Uh, in retrospect, the plan showed 5mm square edging strips to support the shape of the dihedral. It would have been better, I think, doing that as a laminate. Uh, I had to soak these in water and then apply steam to get them to bend to shape uh, and then clamp them overnight. But the job's done. And there's the, the pylon and the wing sits rather nicely. On top of that, I managed to do this. Pick it up there and you can sort of see how it fits on and matches the underside of the wing. So I'm not going to actually sheet the fuselage yet. I'm going to install the radio gear before I do that because it'll be a lot easier that way. Uh, and I'll do a separate video on the radio installation. So I hope you've enjoyed that little process. It's certainly getting the feel um, of one of those vintage pylon models that I so love. Bye for now.